Welcome to our channel, RS Junction. My name is Rishika and today we're going to be making face filters in Scratch using video sensing. So let's get started. So first, I'm going to delete this cat sprite and I'm going to go to choose a sprite and I'm going to choose a hat sprite. Now, there are lots of sprites for this one. There are lots of costumes for this one. But I'm going to choose this costume. So I'm going to delete the others. Now, this is not the only costume I'm going to keep. I'm going to copy this costume. I'm going to paint another costume. I'm going to paste. Now, nothing different about these two, right? Well, in the second costume, I'm going to flip vertical. Get and gather all them up and flip vertical. So now we're done with that part. And last thing we need to do is that we need to get the video sensing extension. So we're going to go to add extension. And we're going to go and get video sensing. Now we're, we're ready to code. So First thing, things first, we're always going to get the when flag clicked. And now I'm going to go and get hide. And I want, and the costume which I want to make it appear is the hat. Let's see what it is. It is hat D. So. I want switch costume to hat D. Now I want it to point in direction 90, so a 90 degrees angle, this angle, I didn't, which basically means I just want it to face like this, normal. And I all, I'm also going to change the size of it in this project. Uh, 2,200 size 200 so it needs to be this big point in direction 90 and I wanted to set where the position of it so let me 1 x position 1 y position 69 and it just changed so I'm going to put in this location oh yeah right here go to this point and then I'm gonna go and get first I want to turn the video on because that's how we're going to do the face filters and set video transparency to zero if it's 100 then it's going to be totally white like the background so I'm going to make it zero so that means there's lots of transparency and it's just going to totally see us just like a mirror. So now let's actually get to that part. So first, now we're going to put a condition, a if then condition, if video, oh, we're going to use this the greater sign and we're going to go to video sensing if video motion on sprite is greater than 20 now this 20 is the amount of speed on the sprite so if we want to run this if we want to run this condition then we need to so th then the video motion on the sprite needs to be greater than 20, which is the amount of speed. So, and inside this condition, it's going to be show. So in the starting of the script, it was hide. So right now it's going to show. And it's also going to say the video direction now in this slot in this drop down menu there's motion and direction 
in this one, in this reporter, we're going to do, we're going to click directions. And we're going to put a condition inside this condition. So we're going to go to control. We're going to go and get the if then else condition. And if we're going to get the lesser sign operator. If video direction on spray is less than zero, then switch this costume, then switch the costume to costume one. So you need to click this, else switch the costume to hat D. So basically this one. And the switch cost and the costume one is the upside down hat. Now let's get the point in direction just right under here under this condition the direction condition point in direction video direction on sprite then let's get the move 10 steps instead of moving 10 steps let's get we'll get the divide by operator and inside the first hole inside the first circle we're going to put in video motion on sprite so nothing to change here divide by 10 steps now the code is done and one more step to do we're going to put a forever loop only around this part of the script not the whole script now let's run the code guys we're done with this video if you're new to the channel then please subscribe and if you've already done that then please like and share this video thank you for watching bye